In our series of patients uh, using the Bob's orbital screws for fixation of syndesmosis injuries, we have had no episodes where the mortise appeared widened or we have lost fixation uh, with the Bob's orbital screws. Uh, all the fractures went on to heal. We haven't had any uh, episodes of non-union. We haven't seen any uh, late inflammatory reactions or sinus tracts for draining of the hydrolyzed polyester. Uh, these are some of the things that we anticipated possibly coming across and uh, we've been very happy with the results. There we go. And it falls into place. So getting rid of that hematoma in the fractures key to trying to get that anatomically reduced. So on stressing the fibula and the syndesmosis, appears there's a widened tibiofibular clear space. Uh, the ankle has reduced well with the uh, normal appearing mortise. And we're going to purchase four cortices. When using a metal screw, some surgeons would prefer to purchase three, some four. With the bioabsorbable screw, our feeling is that it's not as strong as a metal screw. And the extra cortex of purchase is a good thing. The bioabsorbable screws that we're using are polylevolactic acid. Biomechanically, not only is it weaker, but it does not necessarily afford any interfragmentary compression. We've used uh, polyglycolic acid screws in the past. They tend to have uh, a higher rate of inflammatory reactions, irritation of the soft tissue, collection of, of the drained byproduct, and so I think that they're not as good a choice as the polylactic acid screws. And so here's the, the final construct. Two interfragmentary screws, eight hole, one third tubular plate, six cortices above, six cortices below the fracture with a metal screw, and then one bioabsorbable uh, syndesmosis screw with a portion of the head removed. <laughs>